Hi Famos here, Fallout Worlds update has arrived and a crazy idea has come to my mind. But it's not as crazy as you might think because it's still possible to be happen in adventure mode under extreme circumstances. So here's my settings. I remove the AP cost. Let's imagine I have super fast fingers to consume 100 can coffee in a second because LMG has very high AP cost and it fires really fast. And I turn on the infinite ammo with no reload. Now this time let's imagine to have low 3 winning luck with quick hands. So you don't need to reload anymore. And I also turn on the free workbench crafting so I can look for the weapon I desire. And that's it. I don't have any other changes to the damage. I want to have the damage calculation as vanilla as possible. Now the problem is. I still don't have the weapons, so I need to do the so-called legendary crafting. More like gambling. Took me a few minutes to finally have it. Anti-armor with 50% critical damage and faster critical fill because I will be using power armor where unyielding is not available. Now I just need to mod it. I'll prime it because it increases the damage. And I don't think there is any other mod other than that. First I will show you my perks. I have all the heavy gunner perks for the damage. And I have Revenant and Tenderizer, Adrenaline, Covert Operative, Gunfu, basically it's a Fats Commando, but I changed some perks to Heavy Guns and Better Criticals, Critical Savvy, and Bloody Mess. Basically, all the damage perks. And also Stabilized, of course, because I will be using the Power Armor. And here's my Legendary perk setup. I don't know why I have Hack and Slash. I will remove it and replace it with Follow Through because I will open with Sneak Attack. But yeah, of course, I don't sneak all the time, so I just need to get it at the first hit. And right now, I have 22 luck. So I need to get to 24. Uh, I use the fortune teller machine in my camp, so I will get another 2 luck. So right now, I have 24 luck. And combine that with the uh, 15% faster critical fill, I can critical for every other shot. And let's check, what is it? Give a man an excavator and heal mine for a day. Is that a reference for Angry Turtle or Mr. Epos? <laughs> Replace him with a machine and it'll mine for a lifetime. Alright. Okay, I will test the weapon on my Lord Queen first. I think I will like this weapon. Not sure how I feel about Fallout Worlds, but I think this is the stuff I love to do. Now I still cannot move when the screen is fading out. That's so annoying. I hope they change that someday. Yeah, I like this. Look at that. LMG fat script build new meta. Now I'm going to silo and let's test it on Earl. For the buff, I just use the guns and bullet 3 for more critical damage. And some other foods like blight soup for more critical damage. And the other buffs are necessary. So yeah, that's it. Because I think the bobblehead doesn't work here. As usual, solo a ritual. Heal myself with grenade, but I think it's missing. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, I think it will work. Nice. And get back to the power armor.
I will adjust my radiation. Get back to the nerd rates and I will mark the Wendigo with Syringer. So the thing is with the Bloodfly Syringer, you cannot spam it like Ammo Dragon Glitch. You still need to wait some time before you can shoot again. And that's kinda weird. Okay, I will take overdrive here. I have 166 damage. Not really high, I think. That's a good damage. But now I think I already outside of sleep because my damage is just half. That's it. Surprisingly, it's still weaker than Uncliff Plasma on Adventure Mode, even without canned coffee. So, let me know in the comments if you have any idea of which weapon I should try. Thanks for watching and have a good day.